The two main candidates for the Ugandan presidency are incumbent Yoweri Museveni and Robert Chagulanyi, also known as Bobby Wine. Ugandans vote for a new president and parliament on January the 14th, 2021. Here are five things you need to know. 1. Everyone wants the youth vote. Uganda has one of the world's youngest populations. 75% of people there are under 30. Young people are becoming more and more politically involved, and with that, the race to win the youth vote intensifies. Opposition candidate Bobby Wine is promising change from the top and saying he will amplify the voices of the nation's youth. Our pledge has always been to exalt the voices of the people of Uganda in the most legal, in the most constitutional, and in the most peaceful way, but again, in the most assertive way. On the other hand, the incumbent president, Museveni, is offering stability as the country's longest-serving leader of 34 years. His slogan, Securing Your Future, promises a stable Uganda to the nation's young people. Two, promises and policies. Museveni is emphasizing security. He wants a strong army to ensure that Uganda is a powerful actor, geopolitically speaking, in East Africa. He also wants security at home, focusing on the safety of homes and businesses. Bobby Wine is campaigning for a more inclusive, representative rule which could draw in groups who had previously been marginalized such as ethnic minorities and working class people. He wants to create jobs for young people who currently face drastically high levels of unemployment and underemployment. Three, campaigning during COVID. In a bid to stem the spread of coronavirus, the government banned public rallies. Instead, most campaigning is to be done online, making it an obstacle for those candidates who may not be able to fund online campaigns. The new rules have also meant a number of arrests at rallies for Bobby Wine, with Bobby himself being arrested multiple times. This led to an explosive reaction from Uganda's youths. 4. Protests and police crackdowns Numerous protests broke out in Kampala after the arrest of Bobby Wine for allegedly breaking COVID campaigning rules. The unrest resulted in over 50 deaths, with Bobby claiming the police tear-gassed his supporters and tried to assassinate him. The police deny this. 5. Regional impact of the elections. The result of the elections won't just affect Ugandans. It could also impact international relations. Uganda is one of the United States' main partners in fighting militants like Al-Shabaab in East Africa. The Americans are responsible for millions in funding for security and development. Most of South Sudan's food and many other goods come through Uganda. Unrest there could affect the supply chain. With the vote just days away, the countdown towards who will be Uganda's leader is on. <laughs>